everybody, my name is Chad. This is the Wisco Boater Channel. And I am uh, walking up near my, walking kind of away from my marina. But I uh, just wanted to give you a uh, winter layup ship report as best I can. And I'll go to a different spot here in just a little bit to show you a better view of some of the ships that are here in winter layup. But for now, you can kind of see what's out there. Uh, I can't tell if it's the uh, American uh, Integrity or Century. I think it's the Integrity, which is the one right here. several of them in, in there, uh, Wilfred Sykes, uh, the Roger Blow, which just had uh, Blau, which just had a uh, fire last week. Let's see if they can get a better view of that. And I think the American Mariner and Joseph, or uh, James Barker are on the end there. Uh, but you can see Sturgeon Bay is now frozen, completely solid. Uh, well, I don't know how, how thick the ice is, but it's frozen over. There are no icebreakers around to uh, channel up because there's no traffic that flows through here this time of year so <clears throat> my hands are freezing it's five degrees so I'm gonna run in sunnies grab something to drink and a quick bite to eat and then I'll drive around the other side and see if I can get a better view of some of the ships sitting over there all right here is the uh, Joseph block I'm just gonna take a quick tour around the, the uh, Fencantieri Bay ship building facility to see what ships I can see, but you got the Joseph Block on the left there. Wilfred Sykes has been here since uh, I think May of 2020, and then uh, the Walter J. McCarthy is out there, which is the uh, ship that I was thinking was the American uh, Integrity, uh, but that is uh, not the case. So Walter J. McCarthy out there, Wilfred Sykes, Joseph Block. So I'm going to go on the other side of building here and uh, see what else I can see and I know everybody else has already reported on the winter layups but hey I'm here so time to show what I can see and on this side of the building we've got the John G Munson the case in Callaway which you can barely see uh, the on the other side of the orange um, whatever that is is a section of the new Mark Barker and uh, I am sitting in my car here, so I'm just going to kind of move along. Um, also, next to the uh, Case and Callaway is the floating section of the Mark Barker. And then over there, you've got the KE Barker. And then there's a couple of uh, ships on the other side of that building that I can't see right now, but I'm going to see if I can go find a better spot to uh, take a look at those. K Barker is one of my favorite ships on the uh, Great Lakes and the only reason why I think is because it's the very first ship that I saw up close and uh, I just uh, I've got a soft spot in my heart I guess for that for that particular ship my favorite boat on the Great Lakes is the Stuart J Court which is down in Milwaukee and I probably will try to get down there and see that because it's in winter layup in Milwaukee but just haven't had a chance to do that yet. So I'm gonna go see if I can see what uh, what those three bridges are for. And um, that right there, I believe, is the top of the Roger Blau, um, the ship that had the fire uh, last week. All right, there were two ships that I could not see on the other side. And that's as far as I can zoom in. Uh, you can see the Roger Blau right there. That's the ship that had the fire sitting next to the James Barker. Um, one, I think, is American Mariner, and the other one, um, oh, it's the John Bullen. Sitting next to it. The uh, interesting thing in this particular section of video is the, uh, this is the new boom for the Mark Barker. on getting that ready for installation. Uh, right behind it, the bridge there is the American Century. And it currently has the boom and uh, upward. 
position. The American Century is a, is a footer. It's a thousand foot boat. And we'll go past this building that's blocking our view here. On the other side of the American Century is the James Barker. Uh, which I can get a shot of the top of the bridge in just a second. There you go. There's the Barker's Bridge. And that's a lot of people's favorite favorite ship on the Great Lakes. And I think mainly it's just because of the, um, the horn. It's got a very interesting sounding horn. Really cool view of the, uh, the boom on the American Century which is used for offloading grain and uh, whatever else they might have on board. Uh, here's some more sections of the Mark Barker, a new ship that is being built here at Bay Ship. I wish I had a little better access than maybe this side of the fence to see these things, but the best I can do. All right, it's a little breezy out here, but that's the James Barker. And you can see the Sturgeon Bay is nice and frozen. There are some ice fishermen out there. She is frozen in. Uh, behind me in the background is the uh, gantry at Bay Ship Building uh, and the American Century again with its boom extended right there. So those are all the ships that are in winter layup. Um, at this point I do believe I was able to, to capture all of them. Uh, it is really, really cold. Uh, wind chill is like minus 16. But uh, thanks for watching this episode of the Wisco Boater Channel. Hope you enjoyed it. Hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, send me some comments. And uh, if you want to be notified when I post new videos like this one, hit that notification bell. We'll see you next time on the Wisco Boater Channel. Happy boating, everybody.